Hi everyone! This is another video from my series What Inspires Me? And today I will tell you about Soviet artist Katerina Bilakur. Katerina was born in 1900 near Kiev and she didn't even graduate from a seven year school because her parents, who were uh, poor farmers, didn't want to pay for the education of a girl, and she also had two brothers. Since childhood, Katerina was obsessed by art, but she got a lot of negative comments and negative re reaction from her family and from people around. She was mean to have, to have a life of country woman, to do farm work, to do housework, she had despotic parents and they tried to control her life even when she already was 30 years old and because of this she even tried to commit a suicide and that attempt um, had a very bad effect on her health so she had quite a difficult life. Katerina was extremely kind and sweet soul and all her dreams were about painting. She was able to sit for hours and to paint smallest details of flowers, plants and grass around her house. Of course, she didn't have brushes or real paints, so she made brushes for herself um, with hair from her cat. But once in a life, destiny smiled to her. She sent a letter about her art passion to a famous Soviet singer of folk songs and that woman helped to spread words about Katerina's paintings. And Katerina was already 39 years old when suddenly she got first positive feedback and when she became famous. People helped Katerina to arrange uh, several art exhibitions and in 1954, three of her paintings were part of the international exhibition in Paris. Soviet Union presented on the exhibition three of Katerina paintings, The Birch, Collective Field and Sour Grain. When Pablo Picasso saw her paintings on the exhibition, he said, if we had an artist of this level of skills, we would make the whole world talking about her. But these three paintings were lost after the exhibition and Katerina got as a reward only a possibility to visit Moscow and she spent the whole time in famous art museums. Part of her paintings were burned during World War II. Katerina never was married because no one was able to accept that her main passion was art. And she died when she was only 60 years old because in her village pharmacy uh, there wasn't medicine which she needed. And only much later people collected her paintings and organized museum in her house. Here in Kyiv we have her works in the Museum of National Art and since childhood I always loved her works. She is terribly underrated artist and I hope that via my video at least a couple of people will know more about this amazing woman. I also tried to do a coloring dedicated to Katerina's paintings. If you are interested, link will be in the end of this video. I thank you for watching. Bye!